hello welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is tessa and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back i appreciate you for your support in today's video we are cooking hack and chips this is my second time make cooking hack and so it didn't come out as well as i wanted it to but let's jump right into the video firstly i had to prep my chips for my potatoes i mean for the chips <laughs> so this is me taking out the potatoes and getting ready to peel them cut them into chips comment down below and let me know if you prefer peeling your potatoes using a knife or a peeler unfortunately i don't have a peeler so i have to use my knife which is effective either way. Now to season the fish I used salt and rosemary, black pepper and peri peri but I didn't put the other spices directly onto the fish I put them in the flour which I was using to coat the fish.
So I tend to clean as I go. So while I'm cooking, I am always cleaning the utensils and the place that I'm no longer using so that by the time I save up the food, I won't have too many dishes to do after people I have eaten. I find that it helps a lot because once you're full, doing dishes becomes a hustle. This one wasn't really coated fully. I, I wasn't happy with the other side. The, but anyways, we learn as we go. Like I said, this is my second time doing this um, recipe. So, yeah. And if you want to know that your, your, your fries are ready, they sort of like float on top of the cooking oil when they're when they're done and also when they've browned nicely you can take them out make sure to shake off the cooking oil as much as you can like i'm doing there yeah so that you don't have too much cooking oil on them and i find letting them sit in a different um plate or bowl before you dish up allows the cooking oil to settle onto the bowl or plate and then when you dish them up there won't be too much cooking oil on them That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.